action. Yeah, uh, I was lucky enough to check out this uh, cool presentation we've got on the booth here, which you should all check out if you have a chance uh, while you're here. And it looks good. I'm a big fan of From Software's games, as you, as you said. Um, and uh, this looks like it kind of follows in a similar vein, but it looks so good on PlayStation 4. Nice. So Bloodborne is from From Software. It's exclusive on PS4, Sony Computer Entertainment Japan Studio, and uh, directed by Miyazaki himself. So this is something, I, I, it's definitely inspired by some of the gameplay elements that have found their ways into Demon Souls and yeah, these yeah, games. Yeah. But this is definitely something a little bit different. Yeah. Everything I've been hearing su suggests a game that's less sort of block attack yeah. and more offense oriented. Oh yeah, totally. So the, tell the, me about that. Yeah, the, uh, the, the character that you're playing, actually, instead of a shield, he's carrying a shotgun. So attack kind of follows a different, a different rhythm than, than uh, it would in like a Dark Souls or something. Uh, when, when we were watching the presentation earlier, the rhythm seemed to be that you would uh, kind of use the shotgun to stagger an opponent, and then while they're staggered, you rush in with this cool like saw cleaver thing and just tear them to pieces, and there's a lot of blood when that happens. The game earns its title. Uh, yeah, just big like splashes of blood coming off, and yeah, it's kind of gross. Uh, not for the faint of heart. So what, what kind of enemies did you see? Obviously the Souls game, very notable for incredibly imaginative yeah. creature designs. And obviously Bloodborne has just been revealed. It was revealed just the other night at PlayStation E3 2014. Press conference, got a big reception when that From Software logo went on stage. Yep. But in terms of creatures, did you, what did you see? Yeah, it was kind of a dark, almost, almost like an abandoned city type of situation. Lots of cobblestones. You'd see light reflecting off the cobblestones and everything. I can't overstate how good the game looked. Um, but then these enemies would come out, and they're kind of like wearing tatters. Uh, there were like some big like kind of humanoid type enemies with uh, big like sharp types of I, I don't know what kinds of exact weapons they Things were. Things to stab and gouge. Indiscriminate yeah. like slashing weapons, and they would uh, they would come at you. There was actually kind of a boss battle at the end that was really really impressive. Um, big thing came comes swooping over like a castle type area and uh, just lands in front of your ground shakes. And this thing looks I. I I have such a hard time trying to describe it. I, it almost looks like kind of Lovecraftian. Lovecraftian, it, yes. I've, I've, I've heard people mention that influence. I'm a huge H.P. Lovecraft fan myself, so very, very interested to get mm -hmm. my own eyes on Bloodborne. Yeah. Uh, what, what, anything else that struck you about what you saw? Yeah, uh, well, I will say that uh, going back to the combat, it's really interesting the way that uh, it, there doesn't seem to be much in the way of defense. I saw a lot of rolling around in the, in the, in the combat rather than you know, in Dark Souls, you would hold the shield, wait for the enemy to attack, they stagger, and then you go after them. But in this, it's just all attack. It's finding strategic ways to attack the enemy. And again, what we saw was very short, so I can't speak to the, the final product. But based on what we saw, it looks like uh, uh, fans of From Software's games will kind of have an idea what they're getting into, but it might, it might throw uh, a, a, a fans of the studio for a loop once they actually get in there. Yeah, something old, something new, maybe yeah. more than something new, maybe several things new. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anything else? I mean, visually the game looks great. Absolutely. I know, I know that the lore sounds really interesting. I mean, did they, did they give you a setup on sort of the, the basic premise behind the game? Yeah, there's not a whole lot of information on that yet, but what we do know is that it's set in a, a forgotten city that was known for its medicine, and you journey there... Um, for some reason, presumably to find it, or I'm not sure what the what the total setup is there, but uh, yeah, that's that's really just about all we got. Yeah, this I I heard the same thing that this town is known for sort of its healing. Yeah, and people sort of make pilgrimage there mm -hmm. to, to to get you know care for for sicknesses and afflictions that they have, and and I've heard that the main character also may be in that situation as well. Mm -hmm. But obviously, there's something much darker at work happening yeah, I'm in sure the that city. We'll find so. out. Yeah, it's very interesting. The main so, character looks really cool, by the way. Really cool design on him. I'm not sure, uh, like, what what levels of customization there will be or anything. We haven't gotten a look at any of that stuff, but uh, based on what we saw, he's got, like, a this cool kind of, like, uh, a hat thing going on, like the tri-corner hat almost, it looks like, with a long flowing trench coat and, like, a short cape that all kind of sways as you're walking. It looks looks really good. In terms of just the atmosphere, we're just about, I think, out of time here, but just in terms of the atmosphere, what, what struck you? I mean, was it, you said it was sort of a, an abandoned city. I mean, did you see yeah, any very, other details? Very dark, very gothic, um, very horror-centric. Um, 
there, there's a lot of ambient stuff going on, bushes kind of swaying in the wind, lots of uh, particles, looks like maybe like, like embers or ash floating through the screen with kind of a bokeh effect at, for ones that are closer. Um, very, very uh, artfully done stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, the, I, can't, I can't just, I can't overstate how Words good Words fail you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good looking game. All I right. can't wait to play it. I want it, I want it now. I want it bad, I want it bad. I know you and I are both big Dark Souls fans. This is obviously something new, this is something different. But clearly, Miyazaki from Software has yeah. built up a gigantic legion of fans based on just their expertise in a, in a demanding RPG action setting. So yeah. definitely looking forward to Bloodborne. Really excited it's out there now. And uh, look forward to that one coming on PS4 in 2014. It's an exclusive from From Software and Sony Computer Entertainment Japan Studio. Coming up next, more demos, more PS4 games, and more PlayStation Livecast.